Groupers, they come together on the deep clefts of the fore reef in order to mate and spawn, and it's the darkest nights of the month that they choose. Groupers have sex in the dark, so they don't get eaten by sharks quite so much. In tropical waters, the full moon would shine down all the way to the bottom and light up the scene. And so during those nights, the groupers are far away from their spawning place. But as the moon begins to wane, the groupers come in from other reefs in the surrounding areas. They come in one by one, the small ones, the big ones, and they wait for the nights to get darker and darker. And then when the new moon hits, they come together in order to mate and spawn. Grouper populations all over the world are in trouble. This kind of predictability has a major downside. Fishermen know where and when groupers come to spawn, and they've been showing up there too to catch groupers for our dinner tables. But it looks like there's some things we can do to help. Places like the Bahamas that have restricted fishing on grouper spawning grounds have seen an increase in fish numbers, meaning that maybe this little bit of restraint can help grouper populations to grow. Mm -hmm.